Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Saturday, the 1st of April, 2023. I believe that you are blessed and have been blessed by what God has been doing in our midst as we've been praising God. Today we are looking at the necessity of vision. The Bible says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Habakkuk 2.3 Thought for the day. The second most reasonable way to begin a thing after God is to begin with vision. I'd like to welcome you to the month of April. In this month, you shall experience greater dimensions of the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. It has been confirmed that the most reasonable way to begin a thing is to begin with God. Genesis 1.1 The second most reasonable way to begin a thing after God is to begin with vision. Now, why is vision so necessary? First of all, what you define determines what you can discover. John 18.37 what you define determines what you can find. What you cannot define, you cannot discover. This means if you don't know what you want, you wouldn't know it even when you see it. Number two, the road you choose determines the place you end. Proverbs 14.2 You cannot choose the wrong road and end at the right place. Neither can you choose the right road and end at the wrong place. The road you choose determines the place you end. There are people in prison today because of the road that they chose. There are people in mental asylums today because of the drugs that they decided to choose as a wrong way of life. There are people in hellfire today because of the road that they chose. The road you choose is what determines the place you end. Number three, a life that is left to chance has no chance at all. Proverbs 11, 14, the Message Bible. When you live your life to chance, you will not have any chance in life. If you have not defined what you want or where you are going, you don't have any chance of getting it or getting there. Therefore, refuse to live a visionless life. Let vision be behind all your pursuits in life. Remember this? The second most reasonable way to begin a thing after God is to begin with vision. What's our assignment today? Number one, refuse to live a life without vision. Number two, put vision ahead of your pursuits in life. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I thank you for delivering me from a visionless and an aimless living. Give me a clear vision in all that I do, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. For further understanding, you may wish to get the message titled, The Way of Vision. Before I close, I must pray for you to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You want to be born again today. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins and make me a new person. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I want to wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Today we are reading 1 Chronicles chapter 27 all the way to 29. Very powerful messages in, that, in those passages. And I believe that as you read it, you will be blessed in Jesus' name. There's an amazing fact here that says, one side effect of taking alcohol is when you get blackout drunk, the brain temporarily loses the ability to create memories. That's why drunkards forget some things that happened at some point in time. Please don't indulge in alcohol. It's not worth it. Praise the Lord. I declare today the grace for clarity and for vision be released upon you in Jesus' name. God bless you.